Banning TikTok won't protect your digital data. Hi, I'm Lauren Leffer, contributing writer at Scientific American, and I am here to explain why. The US House of Reps just passed a policy that would either ban TikTok or force the sale of the app to a parent company outside of China. Basically, US lawmakers say they're concerned that the Chinese government could get sensitive data on Americans by demanding data from TikTok. They've also voiced some concerns about like the influence of Chinese communist propaganda, but we're not gonna get into all that. Now, there's essentially no evidence that TikTok is directly sharing US user data with the Chinese government. But the Chinese government and basically every other government worldwide, US included, is almost certainly accessing and collecting detailed digital data on individual people worldwide thanks to digital data markets. If you're on the internet or using smart devices, you've pretty much already traded in some level of privacy for convenience. And security experts told me over and over again that banning TikTok wouldn't really do anything to address that pretty scary reality we all already live in. TikTok, as one source told me, is a tiny drop in a big bucket and banning it would be, quote, security theater. This same privacy expert also explained to me that in her view, legislators are smart enough to understand what they're doing isn't necessarily addressing the root of the problem, and essentially they're just doing it because they want credit for taking some sort of action. Through data brokers, tech companies are selling sensitive user info to government intelligence agencies all over the globe, and that's just the legally traded stuff. All this data, it includes things like information from social media, dating apps, smartphones, connected cars, doorbell cams, you name it. In theory, this data is all in anonymized, but in practice, it's actually pretty easy to identify individual people and figure out details like their social connections, their religious affiliation, their political leanings, even their sexual behavior from this data. And that, by the way, is all from a declassified federal report on U.S. government intelligence agencies' own activities. Bringing it back to TikTok, even if the app was owned by a U.S. company, Chinese officials could still probably purchase American user data if they wanted to. Most privacy advocates agree that the only way to really regulate the global data trade is to restrict the type an amount of data that tech companies are allowed to collect on users in the first place. The EU recently passed a law to do just that, but similar attempts have stalled in the US, leaving Americans' data largely unprotected. Sure, TikTok is part of the puzzle, but eliminating one single piece doesn't really do much to change the overall picture.